So today we will be discussing about a connective tissue disease disorder which is a commonest connective tissue disease disorder that is rheumatoid arthritis patient. Okay students, right. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder. Let us let me tell about uh, a few important points about the rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic inflammatory arthritis of uh, unknown etiology. It is the most commonest cause of the inflammatory arthritis. Okay, and rheumatoid arthritis is having extra articular manifestations. It is characterized by anti-citrullinated, anti-cyclic citrullinated antibody, anti-CCP antibody. And in our patient, the anti-CCP antibody they have done it is around more than 98. Okay, and even RF factor is positive in him around 60. Anything more than 18 is taken as a positive aromatic factor. Okay, so he's having both RF factor positive as well as anti-CCP positive our patient. So rheumatoid factor, the age of the onset is between 25 to 55, the incidence will keep on increasing. From 55 years to 75 years, it will play to down. After 75 years, the incidence will reduce it. Female to male ratio incidence is around 7 to 1 or 8 is to 1, around that range between a female to a male patient. Okay. So, the usually they will have, uh, the, because it is an inflammatory arthritis, there will be early morning stiffness of more than 1 hour duration, which after which the pain will reduce or the stiffness will reduce with the activity, with the activity. It may start with a single joint or a oligoarthritis or a polyarthritis which later becomes a symmetrical, okay, a symmetrical arthritis. Initially, there were only a few joints involved which is classified under undifferentiated arthritis. Later, they will turn into a rheumatoid arthritis. The common joint which will be involved in rheumatoid arthritis are metacarpophalangeal joint, first interphalangeal joint, the wrist joint and torso metatarsal joints. If the distal interphalangeal joint is involved, then you have to think osteoarthritis, not rheumatoid arthritis. If the distal interphalangeal joint is involved, then the rheumatoid arthritis will have uh, extra articular manifestations, which I will discuss uh, later. The atlanto occipital joint involvement usually will not produce a neurological deficit, but 10% atlanto occipital joint can be involved. The tender joints and the swollen joints indicate the disability and the disease progression in future if they are more tender joint okay, and swollen joints. Temporomandibular joint, radiologically there may be an abnormality but clinically usually temporomandibular joint won't manifest.